And of course, it disconnects in the middle of a dialogue. Of course it does. Talk, but know that I'm watching you closely. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. Supposed to stop you from finishing the job later. To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. What do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? What would I gain from your services? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. I could also stand around and look pretty if you prefer. Warm your bed. Fend off unwanted suitors, no? Is this before or after you stab me in the back? These things you say, they must drive the men back home simply wild. So what shall it be? I'll even shine armor. You won't find a better deal, I promise. Fine. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Don't worry about it. We can use him. Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. Welcome, Zevran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh? You are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. So, we'll get rid of Wind for now. Give this guy yes. a try. I can give him a better longsword if it please. He likes his light armor, that's fine.
And I'm off. Yes. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. Dark Spawn, you don't say. Right, Dark Spawn. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lotharin. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? What's the message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. Well then, good luck with that. Thanks. We're heading out. Stay safe. That's a weird one, isn't it? I mean, someone was in a comment saying, Oh, you should have killed them! It's XP! Whatever. I play my own way. And they didn't seem like, you know, bad people. They just crop up everywhere, don't they?
shall we compete for the point? Job, aren't I? Now we play a little. As you like. Bravo! I love this game. Ooh, nice swing. Let me make this twist. Oh, another battle it is. Off. Oh, thank you, Maker. Thank you, thank you. I'm off.
Oh, right. Joking.
Well, that was barely worth the effort. But I'm fish. And I'm off. Going. Check out Soldier's Peak. Welcome back, Warden. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions. Even if the truth is a touch more complicated. Our families believe that we were wronged. It gave us strength to make something of ourselves. The keep looks a lot different, actually. We've a big family. When you were away, we all pitched in. Hard to believe there were undead, demons, and worse around here, right? Any trouble with Evanus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. Alright, let me see you Certainly. Word. I will sell you this. And that. That, that, did you got anything on her ass? Nope. I'm gonna guess that this, that I give the gold to our uh, newest adventurer. That's pretty good, though. Party storage chest. Yeah. That'll make my life a lot easier.
That's nice, I've got a storage chest now. Why don't we check in with the blood maze? I think I'll call it here. Pretty short session compared to what we've been doing. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I think it turned out quite well, don't you? I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... well... It, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something, no matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. I didn't do it to please you. Because off the blade, we'll save much more. You're right. Hopefully by that time there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? Nope, it's only Friday. I feel like that would go to wind, it's a book. Now let me get them out of my inventory. Because I can easily Alt Tab out. Now that I've properly saved. Fancy Gift Guide Dragon Age Origins. here. Small gold bar. Thought so. I shall treasure it. Thank you. Orlius goes to win. A generous gift. Thank you ever so much. A fine gift. You have my thanks. The white rune stone goes to Alistair. Is 
is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. And I've done the best I think I can here. So, Alistair has a warm feeling for me. What does that mean? High approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options, while low approval may lead to party members to desert to you. For a second there, I was checking to see if there is an a approval rating for myself. How much do I like myself? <laughs> that would have been funny. So Liliana is warm, but a little bit less than Alexander. Insert you. Win. Neutral. Of course, my dog loves me. 100%. Morgan is neutral. Roland. Neutral. Sten. Neutral. Zev. Neutral. Really, I mean, the only thing I, I feel like I should be doing right now is just getting to know my party a bit more. Because really, the next area to visit would be like, you know, the Dalish Elves or one of the big quest areas. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Callow? You thought I was callow? You sound surprised. You must have heard this before. You'll get over it. Eventually. So will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What do you mean by a weak mind? That is complicated. I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Kalanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. That sounds like what happened to me at Ostengar. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead. Nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers. And my sword was gone from my hand. You probably dropped it on the bat. What did you do? I searched for it. And when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. The farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. And then? I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. You... That's... Terrible. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter unarmed and alone to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Couldn't you search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Where'd you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Kalanhad. We'll find it, don't worry. 
Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. The question is, where would I find it? Really? That's a damn good question. Where would I find that damn sword? You called. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Did you find Ferelden very strange? To put it lightly. No one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. You sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Is there anything you like about Ferelden? There is... interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things, like bread, but sweet and crumbly. Cookies? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. I'll keep that in mind. Shall we move on? So do the Quinari ever want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. But doesn't that make the turtle stronger? Does it? It's also his weakness. If he stumbles and falls over, it pins him on his back. It is better to armor yourself with no more than what you need. One life, one duty. You don't think happiness is important? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? As and, you wish. And the only thing is I want to mention to him is that you know, it's kind of annoying to me is that I want to mention to him that, you know, he wouldn't be talking with me, battling with me, if I'd done the life that had been set out for me at the beginning of the game. I'd be married with some, to some elf living in Denerim, and given the way events unfolded at the beginning of the game, probably being raped by a noble. So yeah. Sometimes the path that you are meant for it doesn't isn't the obvious path you're on. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to mention something like that to him, but he doesn't give me the option. It's so annoying. Interestingly, Sten now has warm approval of me. See, that's why I like to talk to my people. Just get them to like me. Yes? What can I do for you? No harm done. Well, yeah, I really just don't have the energy to go through a bunch of conversation trees. This game is conversation heavy. That is so weird. Look at his shield. It's it is technically pinned to his back, but it's pinned to his back by the hand grip. The 
The sword, however, has no excuse. The sword just floats there in space. The sword does have a tighter fit on me, though. Alright folks, see you next time.